hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'll be teaching us how to make this lovely sleeve so it's called a bell sleeve and it doesn't have any joining you know, it's cut all together so um to cut the sleeve we need to use our knowledge on knowledge of how to cut a quarter circle skirt okay so i'll just quickly um, write out the formula for calculating the radius of a quarter circle okay so the radius of a quarter circle is four times your circumference over two pi that's the radius of a quarter circle we have a full circle we have half circle and we have quarter circle so for quarter circle you don't have frills or any or any folds okay so the radius is the four times the circumference over two pi now this circumference which you see can be your waist circumference if you're making a peplum for a blouse or for a skirt or you're adding a peplum to the lower part of a skirt you know but in this case we're working with um sleeve so i'll be using my armhole circumference as a circumference so the radius will be four times 16 because the arm circumference I'm working with is 16 divided by 2 pi. Pi is a constant. Okay, so um, that's 64 divided by 6.28. Like I said, pi is a constant, which is 3.14. So basically, the only information you're putting in here is your circumference. Okay, so for me, the arm circumference for this particular tutorial is 16. Okay, yours can be 18, yours can be um, 15, depends. Okay, so approximately my radius is 10. Approximately, so you are doing a quarter circle skirt, you just put your waist circumference measurements. I hope that's clear. Okay, so um, you don't need to cut this on your person paper, you can cut this directly on the fabric. And um, for this particular style, you should use a heavy fabric, it makes the sleeve stand well. But I'm just using this satin for the tutorial. Now, you're going to place your fabric on the table like this and you're not folding okay you're not folding so from this point you're going to mark um, the length of the radius if you're cutting a half half circle or a full circle then you need to fold the fabric and all that but for quarter circle you don't need to fold just measure the length of the radius with, and i'm working with 10 which is what i got Okay, so let me go over again. The radius of a quarter circle is 4 times the circumference divided by 2 pi. Okay, yeah, so I'm just going to mark the radius. Then I'm cutting out all of this. But you should add a um, half inch for seam allowance before cutting out. You're cutting directly on the fabric, okay? So I've added my half inch seam allowance there. And then I'll just dispose this. Yeah, so then from um this arc here you're not going to measure the length of your sleeve downwards so your bell sleeve can be short sleeve can be um three quarter it's can be full length full length i'm sorry for the blurry image i don't know what happened to my camera you know it just went blur all of a sudden so i'm just marking the length of the sleeve so I'm doing 22 inches for this tutorial okay so you just mark it round don't forget you are not folding the fabric don't forget this okay so I'll just mark that around and trying to see if everything is on point yeah and I have to check if my camera was you know videoing up to where I was marking you know the fabric is a bit a little bit big yeah so i'm just marking the length of my sleeve like i said can be short can be three quarter can be um, elbow length can be full length yeah so i'm doing 22 inches for the full length so i've just joined all the points together okay so for this method it's very effective the fullness will spread around the sleeve so i'm just cutting now and i'll also add half inch to the line okay because i'm cutting directly on the fabric so i'm just going to cut out like so okay so once you cut out this is it our sleeve is ready so this is just one sleeve then you cut out the second one so once you fold like this you are done 
so this is a part that will be attached to the armhole of the dress and then you you know sew down now let's confirm if our arm circumference is accurate so you place your tip around the curve you don't measure straight like this you place the tip around the curve of the armhole so this is eight in two places that's 16. so but when you're um cutting on the fabric you just add one inside seam allowance now for the fullness at the hemline you can reduce the fullness we don't want the um the sleeve opening to be too um wide like this yeah you can reduce the fullness so what you just do is you take your ruler okay so you just you know pick your ruler and place it from the starting point there make sure you don't tamper with the arm circumference so you can just place your ruler from that point there you can see yeah from here and then really straight down so what you're doing right now is you are reducing the fullness okay if i'm not still comfortable with this i can still tilt my ruler back a bit like that and still reduce the fullness my arm circumference is still intact i'm just reducing the fullness of the um bell okay so i'll just pick any of the fullness i want now and trim off so like i said when you're doing yours make sure you add seam allowance for joining okay so i'm just trimming off the excess i don't want here but if you want this fullness it's fine it's fine so i'll go ahead now and um, stitch it okay so like i said i can still reduce the fullness if i still feel it's you know it's still very full i'm just doing this for those that i want to reduce okay so i'll go ahead now and stitch it down with my seam allowance so I didn't add seam allowance to this, but I'll just stitch it down and probably cut off an inch so I can see what it looks like. Now in the picture, it was worn by somebody, so we could actually see the sleeve properly. But this one is on my um, armless <laughs> mannequin, but we can see how it looks like. Okay, so this is it. It's super super easy. Yeah, I hope you learned something new in today's tutorial. If you did, kindly leave. Or drop a comment in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to our channel and also you can share to your friends and loved ones thank you so much for watching bye